Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. Let's go. Here is our dinner menu for this week. For around the world night, we are doing Korea. For May 4th, we are doing Star Wars food. And for Cinco de Mayo, we are doing Mexican pizza. I added in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch to make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. Oh, and it's like 4.45 in the afternoon. So I'm all done with coffee for the day. So no, but first coffee. Yes, I'm using my shopping bags as my umbrella because it's really busy, so I had to park way in the back. Okay, let's go. Let's see if they have any carts here. Yes, they do. It's wet though. Okay, got my list. It's a little wet. Got my bags down there. Okay, I need laundry detergent. All right, this is on sale, but... I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. Let's put it on the bottom. Alright, we're running low on tissues. They're not on the list, but I'm gonna grab those. Oh, my detergent slid. Back there. Okay. Nope. It's gonna slide. Alright, let me put this in here. Let's see. That was not a very good line. <laughs> Alright, let's move over to the boxed and canned items. Okay, my cart keeps like sliding to the side. I think it needs an alignment. Alright, I gotta get more of these for Zoe. She devoured these because I'm going to get a bunch. Okay, is that enough? Now I'm going to see if there's any Korean snacks for around the world night Korea. Also, Zoe requested more choco rooms. And then these are cute little ones she could pack for school. So Alright, I'm not seeing anything, but I placed an order for a snack pack on Amazon of um, Korean snacks. So that is coming. Yeah, this is Thailand. You know, I bought these for the other week and we forgot to use them. We will use them this week. Okay, I gotta get um, more of these. Somebody asked how many was in these. There's 10, I guess I only need one pack. There's 10 in each pack, 10 sheets. I'm gonna see if they have pickled radish. All right, they have pickled ginger, but no pickled radish. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of these this time so the kids can help me. I got my seaweed snacks. I have to get rice wine and sesame oil. This I did not find. Oh, and soy sauce. Sesame oil. I only see rice vinegar. I don't see rice wine. Mm, maybe it's in a different section? Nope, found it. Just had to look down. Soy sauce. today. Okay, um, I got more of these sushi mats, um, I got sesame oil, rice wine, and these I already got. Alright, I need 
They don't have any of the big packs. Here they do, but it's like all mangled and opened. Let's go for these. Not opened ones. I also need a big thing of salsa. Tuesday, and then we're also making Mexican pizzas on Friday, and this is not going to be enough. Let's get some of these eight packs. There we go. I also don't need this because I already bought that this weekend. Okay, I have one thing of white rice, so I just need one more thing. I don't want like the giant giant, I want the kind of giant, the medium one. I need more parm. Actually, I need a lot. I'm gonna need two. Because I'm making fettuccine alfredo next week, and that's like, you know, a whole container of parm. So I used, got the last thing of mayonnaise out of the pantry, so I gotta replace that. And I just got the last thing of branch out of the pantry. I'm gonna get three of those. We're out of Velveeta. I like these three packs. We make six boxes whenever we make it. All right, more tuna. Okay, over to the soup aisle. I have to get cream of mushroom soup for slop on Thursday. I'll repost that recipe this week. It's not my recipe, it's Nana's. There we go. Okay, let's see. We got none of that. Okay. We got the rice, we got the tuna, we got the tuna mushroom, we got the velveeta, we got the parm. Cooking spray and brown sugar. And what else can I fit into this cart? I'm gonna get the nacho chips, maybe the syrup, and then we'll go get a second cart. this card up front and get another one. Let's 
did I do with my list? Did I leave it in the other cart? Probably. Nope. It's in my pocket. Okay. Um, let's go get the um, lunch chips, cookies, veggie straws, brownie bites. Cart two. Bodie and Harley keep eating these ranch ones, so I keep having to buy this pack. I should look on Amazon if they sell just the ranch. Because we're getting a buildup of the sea salt ones that nobody's eating. Okay, what do we have? Got Lay's. We go through about a box a day. on Amazon, but yeah, we're all out of those too. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, let me get some of the, um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, these ones, because I like the sun trips. Bodie and her, a lot of the kids like the puffs, and then, uh, some of the kids like those chili Fritos. Oh, that just reminded me. I just used the last thing of Dash's snack crackers. So my kids all pack a snack for school every day. I don't usually post that because like, I mean, I don't know. They just grab something from the pantry. But Dash likes to pack these. So yes, on top of everything I post that they eat every day, and they also have another snack. Brownie bites. I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating these. It's been a week, okay? I mean, I had some help from Green Dash too. Kids knocked over the cookie bin this weekend. Still don't know who it was. I'm thinking Harley. I don't know. Anyways, we gotta get, we gotta fill up the cookie bin now. Since there was not much that could be salvaged, it had all fallen all over the floor, you know, of the entryway. Yeah, that's gross. Those got thrown out. Let's go in. Party size. Oh, a thing of chocolate Oreos did make it through the great cookie bin tobacco. And another kind, I can't remember what. Mm, what else? These look good. Ooh, did you see those? What? Those look amazing. And I always like to have some golden ones. Let's see. Do we have the round choice of cookies here? I think. To replenish the cookie bin. This should be good. Maybe I got some mint Oreos. Those things are insanely good. Okay. Get some graham crackers. Now I still have some juice left. However, y'all gotta help me remember. This Harley doesn't like this acceptable so I have a lot of that oh my goodness gracious me you gonna do this to me I have a lot of the um 
Concord grape, so I'm like, Josh can drink that. And the other kids. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand the difference. Nevaeh has a sunny D every morning when she wakes up. Gotta get her her sunny D. I think I can set it here next to these. There we go. This is like leaking, I think. Okay, I don't know. That one is sticky. We're not gonna get that one. We're gonna get the not sticky one and then try and... Oh wait, I have hand sanitizer in my purse. Does anyone else call it sanitizer? Where is it? It's in Alex's Jeep. Never mind. I don't have hand sanitizer. I'll have to replenish my purse sanitizer. Okay. I gotta get Capri Sun. And... Prime and root beer. Prime is like hard to find at Wegmans. I feel like it doesn't have a set spot on the shelf. They just kind of rotate it somewhere in the store. It's like a fun scavenger hunt. All right, I need root beer for this week's float challenge. We're gonna do root beer with Panda Paws ice cream. It was suggested on our video from last week. All right, I don't really have enough room to go to another part of the store and get another whole section. So we're gonna leave this with the other cart and get a third cart. Okay, one, two. All right, I think we got everything from this section of the store. Not prime, cause you know, I haven't found it yet. Uh, and not the pickled relish, cause they didn't have it. Although that could be a random thing they have in produce. I don't know. Anyways, cart three. Let's go get the meat and produce, and then we'll get the dairy and frozen. And somewhere along the way, we'll get bread. I'm walking past the seafood section, and I would like you to know Josh finally got to eat his clams this weekend. Oh, and Bree and James ate a ton of them. Oh, and Jason. All right, chicken breasts. I wrote down that I need two packages. One's for the chicken fajitas and I couldn't tell you what the other one's for right now. I'll figure it out. Two things of chicken. These are uh, five, five and a half pounds. So I need three of them because we use a pack and a half every time we have chicken. Steak week. I also need steak for around the world night, so we're gonna be getting a lot of steak. All right, I need strip steaks for the triplets and James. I actually kind of think of what James is into right now. James will eat any cut, it doesn't matter. Okay, I need ribeye for me, Zoe.
Bodie and Harley will eat any kind of steak and Deshaun's hit or miss on if he'll eat it or not. Yeah. He should. He'll probably eat some of the cube steak. He's a lot like Alex in food preferences. Alright, I also need reason I'm shopping right now is because I didn't have bacon to make dinner. So, we have bacon. I need one package for tonight and two and two. So I need five packages of bacon. Sausage. Oh, you know what? I'll get the doggies some new bones. Grocery store carries these beef bones and Dixie loves them. Alright, over to the produce. my salt potatoes video. You can find that in my recipes playlist. Um, just setting on my salt potatoes right now. But I know you can't store them. Oh, what? To, oh, I thought that was wrong. I was going to be angry. I'm going to be angry if I buy rotten food again. That reminds me. I'm going to check these potatoes. Good enough. We're making them tomorrow. Get bananas. Oh, look at these. They're perfect little Harley size. like a lot now but when you saw to get down yeah like two pieces oh good they have those lunch carrots again how many were in a pack of five and then i need yeah, six carrots which are way up here or around the world right Good celery bag now. Alright, I need pears and then I was gonna see if they do have Asian pear. Awesome, I need that for a recipe. Okay, so I need regular pears. And an Asian pear for a recipe. The family pack of pears. Oh well. Okay. Hopefully that's a good one. I have no idea how to pick a good Asian pear. Get some apples. What do we have today? We've got Empire, 
Hazels and Macintosh. Scarlet Empire. These look good. Some oranges. Nope. So a giant bag of oranges. Eight pounds. For $4.99. Okay. Oh, and limes. Look at that. Right next to each other. oranges down here because they're so heavy. Alright, let's pick a watermelon. Uh, I like the ones on the other side better. Mmm, okay. Do we think that's going to roll away down there? A little nervous. I need peppers for the fajitas on Tuesday. Let's get some clementines and grapes. Did I just say clementines with an M? I meant to say clementines. Side eye in this bag of grapes. Side eye. No, those are brown too. Okay. These are acceptable. I don't need scallions and oh, avocado and berries. Okay, let's pick some strawberries. Picking strawberries in June. Some blueberries. Just ate the last of them this morning. Okay, an avocado. I'm gonna get a couple bags back on an avocado kick. I am also going to get one of my fresh pressed juices I love. What did I get last time? It was so good. Uh, was it orange cranberry pomegranate or was it strawberry apple? I think it was orange cranberry pomegranate. Okay, I'm gonna leave that cart up here. And now, let's get a fourth cart for the dairy and frozen. We'll do frozen, no wait, which order am I doing here? Dairy? I don't know. All right, we well, got a cart. Cart four. Okay, sometimes there's prime in these random, I don't know what you call these things. Um, units of Things. Nope, I don't see any prime. I will get it on Amazon. There's the train. Okay. Any hot dogs? I always forget they carry the tortillas over here, too. Oh, well. We're good now. Okay, we got all of this.
love flattered. Fettuccine, I love this fresh fettuccine. Josh and I made homemade pasta once in our life. And that was enough. It was so messy, but so fun. Over here, yes, they did. All right, let's get some cheese. I think we're out of our charcuterie board cheese. I got one more thing with the fettuccine, so I have four now. So I have um, nine times four ounces. Someone else do the math, my brain's done. to the chocolate almond. closer to St. Patrick's Day, but I thought it would be fun for Star Wars Day. I am not seeing it. Oh, do need creamer. Glad I walked down here. Caramel macchiato. Okay, this dairy section is right behind the frozen section, so let's move on and get frozen. to see if they happen to have Korean dumplings. Asian stir fry. Teriyaki. Tofu. Egg rolls. Uh, steamed bun. Cut stickers. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, what do we have? We have chicken dumplings. We have... What's this? Sriracha and veggie. I think I'll get a thing. I'm going to get two. How many are in this? Two pounds. My kids like these. Two of these and um, I want it the veggie ones. those homemade for around the world night. I'm making enough other stuff. I like to keep meatballs in the freezer. Meatballs. 
went to get breadsticks, French toast sticks, the sausage I got, um, the ice I can get on Wednesday, so I don't have to store that for two days. French toast sticks for a while were so hard to find. Like a random thing to have a shortage on. Four pounds. Do we think that would be enough? I remember the last time I got French toast sticks, but it's not enough. So I'm gonna get one more. drumsticks in a while. Let's get those. Okay, I'm trying to find Panda Paws ice cream. Is that a Perry's ice cream, I think? Let's go grab the bread and then those few toiletry items. There's a traffic jam that way. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm not gonna get the buns yet because I don't need those until later in the week and I don't want them to get stale. I owe a huge favor to the one who made me realize I've not been taking my baby aspirin and that is why my headaches are back. I take one of these every day for my chronic headaches and I don't know, somewhere along the way I must have ran out, forgot to get them, completely forgot to take them, headaches have been back. All right, sunblock. Zoe's preschool class requested sunblock. So, I get them the kids one. I mean, that would make sense since it's a class of kids. Let's go check out. I always love to see if there's a cashier who's had me before because they know what they're getting into. All right, get my last cart right here. Did you guys just see that guy zoom by on the cart? That was really funny. Okay. okay. We used every single reusable bag. We had just enough. They're outside the side door there. I'm gonna drive over and load them in. It is now 6.40, so that took exactly two hours to shop and check out. That's pretty good. Yeah, now there's no cars here. <laughs> and I'm way back here. There's the 15 seater van. Okay, let's go home. It is 647. They helped me load it in. That's how we did it so fast. I could not have done it that fast myself. Thank you, Wegmans. I still gotta make dinner. I can't even describe how good this is. Like, 
it's tangy and sweet but it's like this perfect mix I remember one time I tried to do one of those juice cleanses I don't even think I lasted half a day <laughs> I'm not a cleanse type of person <laughs> I'm not any sort of diet type of person. I can't do it. Oh, that just sounded like the watermelon rolling across the van. I have had that happen and I have had it smash open before. What do we have this week? We... We're supposed to have an extremely busy Sunday. Uh, Jordan, Patrick, and Bodie were supposed to have their first baseball game this morning. It got canceled because of the rain. For Sunday fun day, I bought tickets to the local minor league baseball game. That got canceled because of the rain. So we had two baseball games today cancel. Um, yeah, so there was no Sunday fun day. At that point, I was like, I don't know we could have gone and done like something indoors but I felt like all of Rochester would have been doing something indoors and it would have been insane so oh but good news we can reuse our tickets that I bought for the baseball game um, the second half of the season so they didn't go to waste so that's good although they're not that expensive and it was for a good cause because it was Autism Awareness Day. But yeah, it's kind of cool they'll let us reuse them. I, gotta, I think I have to schedule that. Like, pick the game, you know? So yeah, the kids were pretty bummed that we went from having two baseball games today to absolutely nothing. So instead... Josh and I got a lot done around the house. I had so much laundry to catch up on. And, um, I don't know. Josh just did, like, random other stuff. Our bedroom is, like, the last thing we get to every day. So it never, it's just, I don't know. By the end of the day, the last thing we want to do is, like, clean our own bedroom because we spent all day cleaning up after everyone else. So our bedroom was a disaster. Josh cleaned that. That was amazing. Be clean when I go to bed. And we have a very busy week. Appointments and I think we have three track meets track meets, horseback riding, music lessons, um, I'm missing something and I can't think of it. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of took the day off, well, other than vlogging grocery shopping, um, but just caught up around the house caught up on some comments. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a productive day. Nan and Papa are coming over tomorrow because Mondays and Thursdays now are just insane. Like we have to be four places at once which is impossible. Track meet, horseback riding, music lesson, home with the other kids who don't wanna go to all of those things. Although, I usually bring them with me. I'm like, too bad, you're coming to horseback riding, you're gonna take a walk, you're gonna get fresh air. But when it's rainy like this, it's hard to drag kids along because they just sit in the van and just read a book or something but no instead they're like 
He's looking at me. She breathed in my direction. You know, <laughs> typical sibling stuff. I think I'm gonna quick put the frozen and perishable stuff away and then make dinner. Well, I can get dinner started because I gotta get the water started to boil for the spaghetti. Then put that stuff away and the rest I am probably leaving for tomorrow because Nana and Papa are coming over. <laughs> and I am spoiled. And if Papa sees I didn't get all the groceries put away, he will put them away for me. I seriously have the best in-laws ever. My parents, speaking of grandparents, are in Virginia and their car broke down. So I don't think we will see Oma and Opa. They come over on Wednesdays. I don't think we'll see them this week because their car's broken down. So my brother lives in Virginia. So they're stuck in Virginia. So, still got Nana and Papa though. Nana will be excited. It's She happens to be over on steak night. She likes steak like we do. I only do it like once a month, obviously, since that was just $245 on steak. Although, 65 of that was for the sirloins for Wednesday. So 245 minus 65 is how much steak night costs for 16 people. But I like to have like leftover steak. Plus I'm hoping there's leftover steak so I can use it on Wednesday too. I try and like make sure every bite of steak gets eaten. <laughs> We're having a leftover night Saturday, but the steak won't be good anymore by Saturday if we cook it Monday. Yeah, it's just a rainy day. There's something calming and peaceful about the rain. It makes me tired. my kids and support them a lot in their activities and sports but I really did have to grocery shop I went to make dinner I'm like I don't have this I don't have this so then I'm like looking around I'm like what could I make what can I throw together for dinner instead and I'm like even have like meatballs in the freezer. If I make spaghetti and I don't make meatballs with it, my kids are like, every single one of them will be like, where's the meatballs? Why did you make spaghetti and not meatballs? What are you doing? So I just always make meatballs. Okay, here is the receipt for today. Okay, I brought everything in. Now I gotta put it away. This is our garage. If you're new here, most of our food storage is in the garage. And I am going to let you guys go. Thank you for coming grocery shopping with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.